Welcome everybody, I would like to show you another game from my US trip. I also played in the US Masters in North Carolina. That was my second tournament I played. And here I would like to show you my game against International Master Levi Rossman from the fourth round. So let's begin. I was playing with the white pieces, start out with e4. We're going for a Karakan, advanced variation. And we're actually going for the main line here. Black pretty much has a choice here whether he wants to keep developing, knight d7, knight e7, there have been a lot of moves here. Or if he wants to push c5 immediately. This is his typical break in the position and that's what my opponent did, which is the main line. Bishop e3, takes some d4, knight takes d4, knight e7. And here a lot of moves have been tried. I've played a game where I castle, but I want to surprise my opponent. I played the old main line, which is... 8c4. Now knight bc6, queen a4, a6, knight c3, d takes c4, queen set castle, this is all theory. Now queen a5 is the main move. Queen takes, knight takes, and currently I'm a pawn down but I'm about to win back this pawn, taking on f5, now play bishop b6, knight c6, now the pawn on e5 is attacked, so I play f4, and I'm going to win back this pawn on c4. Now rook c8, bishop takes c4, and here my opponent fought for a long time. This is still, this still has been seen in many games, and I had prepared this line a little bit. And g5 is the main move, but I think it's a little bit dangerous for black. I think the safer choice to play something like bishop b4 and here I think white can play bishop b3, castle. There was a game between um, Sevian and Nispiano which was a very important game in the World Cup last year where they had this structure and Sevian won the game and eliminated Nispiano but this position should be fine for black. But still there's some play left and I thought, okay, well, we'll just play the position. G5 is also fine, but this gets tricky as I can sacrifice a pawn here with G4 and F5 and over the board you don't want to have this position. Knight takes E5 is correct, Bishop E3 and now my opponent played Bishop E7 after which he's a little bit worse. There are many moves here actually, like h5, knight h3, taking the pawn f5, but honestly I think the most logical continuation would be to play bishop c5, takes, 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 takes. And here white still has a little bit of a push, but with accurate defense black should be able to hold. After bishop e7 I also took on e6. Now I cannot take back on e6 now, because rook c6 would win one of the bishops. So that's why I played bishop d4 first, attacking the knight on e5. He goes knight h f3, protecting the knight. And I take on e6, attacking the rook on c8. Now he played rook d8, which is the best move. I was a little bit hoping for rook c6. Why was I hoping for rook c6? Question for you guys. What could white do here? Stop the video if you want to and try to figure this out. Cute little tactic here. Bishop d7 check. It's a little bit unusual. Well, if the knight takes, I can take the rook on h8, and I'm going to exchange up. And if the king takes, it's even worse because I could take on e5 of check, take the rook on h8 next move. So that would be winning. Now my opponent played rook d8. I took on e5 first. I wanted to keep my bishop because you know I love bishops. But well, actually consider bishop e3. But the problem is that well, if I take back with the rook, he'll just take on h2. And if I take with the king, which was first my intention, he can play h5 right away and eliminate the pawns pretty much on the uh, queen side, on the king side, and then there's not much to do. This should be a draw. So I took an e5, knight takes, and knight to d5. And the position is equal, uh, the, the material is equal, the pawn structure is symmetrical, but of course my pieces are a little bit better placed and I'm having some pressure here, so not that easy for black. He played rook d6, probably best would be good to go knight g6 with the intention of going knight f4, rook hg1, knight f4, 
And I thought maybe I have something here, like again this trick bishop d7, but doesn't really do much here. Black can take with the king, and there's not much going on here. Knight takes f4, bishop d6, and black is fine. So I think I should just play it slow here with a move like h3, this is what the computer is saying. And um, white still has a little bit of a push, but uh, black should be able to defend. So let's see the game. Rook d6, bishop f5, king f7, rook hg1, knight to c6, and now I play rook f1. I considered to take on e7, but I thought, well, first take on d1. But this is not giving me that much. Rook d7, no, excuse me. Rook d7, king f6. Well, hold on. <laughs> this is the game. This was the, this is the position we got in the game. Well, <laughs> that's funny. Did I not like something else here? Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe I thought black can go h5 right away here. Yeah, not sure. Anyway, <laughs> so knight x 7 would have been an option as well, but I think rook f1 was maybe more precise. Now I'm threatening some kind of discovery attack. So you play king g7. Now I took on e7, check, and this is what I meant. We get the same position here actually, but black didn't have this other option with h5. Now we had some trades, but still white is pushing a little bit because I have the bishop against the knight and the bishop is stronger in open positions like that where it can play on both sides of the board. And also you want to note here that black doesn't have an outpost for the knight. So the knight is always like hanging in the air and always needs protection, whereas the bishop, of course, can move pretty freely and um, doesn't need an outpost. Here I play bishop e4. The best move would have been to go rook d6 check, which I considered first. Now black should go king g7. If king f7 I can go check and rook b6, that would be pretty strong. Um, so king g7 and now bishop e4 and still black should be able to hold here. But this, is, this won't be easy. Um, actually we'll get to this position in a moment as well. So <clears throat> still this was a little bit more precise since after bishop e4 h5 was also played, correct play. You want to trade pawns, get also rook into the game. h3 takes takes. Now you played rook h4 but it seems and I thought I was I was doing fairly well here during the game but it seems black can just play b6 or even b5. Um, and rook b7 check and now b5 and black has enough activity with his king here Let's say rook a7 check and black's piece are pretty active and um, he should be able to hold here this should be a draw also rook h4 actually i was kind of upset with myself because i didn't realize earlier that my opponent could go knight c6 here which would be his best shot um, the pawn is if I take him b7, he can play knight e5 with tempo and win the pawn on g4 and then he has a pass pawn as well. So still this is the best I can do and this is the position I want to get to and um, we get this one which is probably a draw but uh, still I can ask some questions and it's not that simple. Um, but yeah, I feel like this should be a draw. In the game, my opponent played rook h3. And um, now I think black is pretty much lost. I took the pawn on b7. I thought I could, uh, could also play bishop d1. And that's why I was maybe a bit upset with myself. Because I thought, well, why did you put your bishop on on e4 here when you could have also put d3 or c2 but the thing is that actually this position is equal again because I'm too passive so black would we would get something similar we saw earlier something like that and black's just too active here with all his pieces so this is fine for black so fortunately I made a correct choice here took the pawn now rook g3 and now I can hold on to the pawn rook d4 a5 
And now b3, I like this move. The pawn is I can prepare bring my king closer to the pawn. King e5, rook c4, king d6, king b2. And here really black doesn't have any good moves. Computer says you should go and should try something like this now. But I feel like sooner or later I, I should be able to win. Maybe rook a4. But maybe black can still, you know, still be annoying a little bit. So this was the best way to play. My opponent went knight g8 to get the knight to f6. But now I can go check and rook g6. Hitting knight and pawn, knight f6, rook takes g5. Now I'm also attacking the pawn on a5. So he went a4, which is in principle a good idea to damage my pawn structure. But here it just doesn't work out because I can take and black cannot take on g4 in any good way. If he takes with the knight, he's actually in a really bad pin here on the g-file and I'm just pushing my pawn forward and uh, that's it. For example, check a7, bishop c8, bishop f3, window knight and that's it. Since I have another pawn. And um, in the game he played rook takes g4 but here just all works out for me, which obviously I calculate before taking on a4 and I calculate a lot of times because if I'm wrong here, it would be a draw. But in this position, I have one single move to win and that is bishop f3 because now I'm threatening to queen and I'm also threatening the knight and that's why it's game over. Black could win this pawn, but I have another pawn and I also have to correct bishop. You want to have to the bishop with the color of the square you're promoting to if you have an a or h pawn so that works here and um, if the knight moves then of course i'll queen with a7 black can still stop it but once again i'm just winning the knight and then i have the a pawn to win the game so my opponent resigned after bishop f3 so that worked out pretty well for me with the preparation and then I was somewhat happy about my, my conversion. Yes, black could have probably saved the draw, but we're all humans, make mistakes and it was difficult to defend. And then my opponent slipped in the end and I could take home the full point. So I want to share this game with you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.